Alright, well, everybody's been asking me how I made my camera hat, um, or camera mount hat, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, what I did, okay, what I did is I took this small tripod right here, unscrewed it. The thing with this is you got to have the type that has the screw in the middle, as you can see right there, and unscrews there on the end. So, just get rid of that and it leaves you with this right here basically what you need is a and I don't even know if you need the uh, C-clamp pullers but I have them so I'm going to do that real quick and pull that C-clamp that you can see down in there alright as you can see there's the uh, C-clamp and the little piece that comes out on the end that held the screw in that held the uh, tripod legs on here is the actual inside of the small mount which sits there like that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, which is a, um, I'm not sure what it is. It, it goes in like the piece of wood, has the little uh, uh, spikes on it, so it'll set in a piece of wood, and then you can put a screw in the middle of it. What I did is I just took a pair of nippers and I shaved it down so that it would fit inside here and still allow the C-clamp to hold it. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, I'm going to leave everything that was originally in the mount itself, um, including this uh, little piece here. All right, there it is mounted inside. As you can see, the C-clamp, it actually works perfect and it's pretty solid. It stays in there pretty good. So you can see that it sticks out a little bit on the end, and there's the whole system there. Okay, after that I got a small screw that will fit inside of the mount part. Then what I did is I got me an old hat or whatever hat you want to use, drilled a small hole through the hat. Then what I'll do is I'll take that screw. I'll put it through the hat and then mount that on top with a couple of bigger size washers to fill in the space. Okay, well, here's the finished product. Basically what I did is I screwed it inside there, mounted it on there, tightened it down, and then as you can see it's pretty much adjustable. I can undo the uh, little screw on the back there and I can move it anywhere around which I think would be cool for like flipping close in the cover and I can have it pointed straight down where the ones you see on the internet are pretty much fixed in place so maybe they'll steal my idea and make an adjustable one the only thing I don't like about this one is it does sit it up a lot higher than the ones you see on the internet but hey you know just have to deal with that so once that's done there, then just mount your camera. And then basically there it is on the hat. Let's look at it, see what it looks like on my head here. There it is on, here it is being used on the head. That's a Kodak place board that I have attached to it. Um, I mean, it does stand up there pretty high. I get a lot of looks, but I'll tell you what, the videos I get off it are great. So, hey, I'll look stupid if I can get some really good videos off it. So that's just about it. That's all I've done. I mean, you can go on and buy hack cams for like 30 bucks on the internet or make your own, which is what I did. Um, the only thing about the play sport is it's a little bit heavier than the flips and those type camcorders but you can also have a remote control for the the play sport which i have which is really nice so you can really um, uh, conserve your battery by when you're either moving from spot to spot or uh, walking if you're definitely if you're walking the bank like i have been doing lately um, you can just use that little remote without taking the hat off your head and turn it off, turn it on, and you know, walk down the bank. It's actually pretty cool. 
So not only can you conserve battery, but you can also conserve your uh, space on your uh, SD card. And that's what's nice about the Kodak too, is it can hold up to a 30, 32 gigabyte SDHC card. So, but there you go. That's uh, my cam hat.